welcome to another video. I'm losing my voice then slightly. Let's try and uh, let's try and do that again. Hi, there we go. That's not like it. Today I've just got a really quick book review for you. It should be quite quick because you'll see. Can't really say much without spoiling the whole thing. And there won't be any spoilers in this. But in my January wrap up, I mentioned that I had read Quicksand by Junichiro Tanizaki. This is a Japanese novel that was first published in 1930, I believe. And this particular edition is uh, translated by Howard Hibbert. This was a book that when I finished reading it, I just thought, what the hell did I just read? I mean, what on earth? And I've got to say that although I took some time to gather my thoughts a little bit more coherently, I still haven't really, because what the hell did I just read? So the style of this book, the way that it's written, is that the the main character is narrating it to someone who is um, who is then writing their story, which makes for I think a really really interesting narrative. I think it's a style which makes the main character, but it just kind of it emphasises how unreliable the main character is because when she's talking, she's sometimes really defensive, and sometimes she's really you know clearly embellishing the things that have happened to her. So actually, I should probably actually explain the plot, shouldn't I, for any of you who didn't kind of watch my wrap up. So the main character um, of this book is in a really kind of boring marriage. <laughs> it's not loveless, although she doesn't really talk much about love. Um, it, she's just incredibly bored. Her husband is, I think, he's just sort of working a job that he doesn't seem to really care much about or seem to like very much. And anyway, she goes into the city with him when he goes to work and he she goes in with him um, quite frequently. And then she starts, because she's bored as well, she starts doing these art classes. And then there's, okay, so there's like a whole series of events which happen then, which kind of enable a rumour to start that our main character is having a sexual relationship with this woman in the college who is completely beautiful. Now, I say like a series of events because they're slightly unbelievable maybe um but because she's an unreliable narrator can we really trust the kind of series of events that she's kind of saying well this is how it happened because she's quite defensive about it um so can we really trust her i'm not really sure if you can but what actually happens is that it starts off as a rumor and then they do actually become they can become friends her and this very beautiful woman they become friends and then they become lovers so what follows then is i think possibly the most convoluted plot I have ever read in a book. Now, like I said, I'm not going to spoil it and therefore I can't really say anything else about it. But it was definitely one of those books that you finish reading and you just think, what the hell did I just read? It's very, very short, so it's a very, very quick read. And you do end up with that, huh? I need to reread this. I need to reread this immediately because I don't understand what just happened. The plot like I said, is so elaborate and so, there's so many twists and turns and sudden kind of, no, no, but why would you do that? I don't, I don't understand these kind of weird complex relationships. But at the same time, it's actually incredibly believable. The author, the way that it's written, the way that Thomas Akira it, it just makes it just so, so believable. I completely believe that all these weird, crazy plot twists would actually happen. The writing style is very kind of, it's very understated writing, writing, and um, th th apparently it was serialised when it was first published, and you can kind of tell because at the end of every chapter you get like a bit of, a bit of a cliffhanger and a bit of a, um, a kind of like dramatic moment before the next chapter. So it makes it very easy to read them because you don't actually want to put it down, you do actually want to keep reading. And even though it's completely crazy and convoluted, you just think, oh my god, what's going to happen next? The fact that it was written in the 1920s, published in the 1930s, and that the relationship in it between the two female characters, the sexual relationship, which is quite sexy at times, um, in the way that it's described for the 1930s, I think. Um, but the way that that's portrayed is that that is a completely normal thing. It's it's never kind of questions like, why, why are two women having a relationship, or oh no, this can't happen, or this shouldn't happen. It's just completely normalised, it's just, it's just so normal in the book and that was such a refreshing thing to read. I read a lot of LGBTQ classics and to actually read something of, of a much older era where it's not treated like any kind of abnormality 
was really refreshing and really really interesting I just really liked that aspect of it none of the characters in the book are likeable <laughs> they're just all different shades of awful uh, including the narrator including the main character I just think she's just awful she's not reliable like I said she's quite unpleasant she's quite conceited but just so fascinating and I think if you go into it expecting that if you go into it expecting that the characters are not going to be particularly likable and if you go into it expecting that kind of what the hell feeling when it's over then I think that you will really really like it I would love to know if you've already read it what you thought of it I'm definitely going to reread it and I think that this is more of a kind of uh, um, a vague review oh, look I've got some sun here hi sun it's more of a kind of vague review of I think you should read this and these are the reasons why rather than a kind of discussion of it and I think that I need to read it again to really experience because it's such a short novel it does go by really quickly and then like I said you're just left with a kind of huh feeling afterwards but not, I don't really feel like I delved really very deeply into it so if you have read it I would love to know what you thought do let me know in the comments below and I will be back very soon with another video. Thanks for watching.